Hi everybody, I want to use this short video to give you a little coaching on Microsoft Project to create your first Gantt chart. Remember the objective of this out of class assignment is not to exactly replicate the Gantt chart I provided you, but it's to simply learn how to access Microsoft Project and enter tasks and dependencies. So with that, I thought I'd go through a simple example with you to show you some little shortcuts, make sure it's clear how you go about getting this assignment done. Action. So the first thing I want to show you is that you can create a task first that's too broad. For example, let's say build a house. You'd all agree that's a little bit too generic and, and simple of an objective. We talked about that in class. But let's list out what that would entail at the highest level. First thing you do would be to design, design your house. So I'm simply um, entering tasks here in the task name field hit return, it drops down. After I design the house, I can uh, develop a materials list. Uh, what else, what's going to happen next? I got my, de develop my materials list, I'm going to order materials. And meanwhile, I can be, I can be uh, developing my site. And after I've got my materials uh, delivered and the, the site's developed, um, I can go ahead and uh, com uh, construct construct the home. So you'll notice, I'll call it house. I can construct the house. So each of these has a, a noun and a verb. And let's go ahead and pick ridiculous durations so we can see these entered on the screen. So build a house is going to be a category. I'm going to get back to that in a moment. Uh, design the house. Let's take say that takes four days. Developing materials list takes two. Ordering materials takes, say, three. Uh, develop, uh, developing the house site, that means moving dirt and what have you. Let's say that takes four days. And constructing a house takes three days. Okay, these are just for, just for play here. Now, I'm going to shift this over, and you'll see uh, start and finish dates. Uh, they've automatically entered into the current day, um, today. But um, what I want to show you first is dependencies. So I know that designing a house, developing materials list, and ordering materials, uh, those things are dependent on each other. So I can go ahead and manually type in dependencies, as, as I'll show you in a moment. Or I can highlight these and click the link shortcut. There's a picture of a chain there. And if I do that, all those tasks uh, cascade onto each other. Now, I know that uh, constructing a house depends on developing the house site, or preparing site. So, I, I'm actually, I'm going to rename that preparing site, because that's a preparing site. Um, and that those two are dependent on each other. Now, I also know that, I also know that um, I can't, uh, construct the house until I've ordered materials and received the materials. So task four and six are dependent on each other. So let me let me move this bar over here so that you can see what that shortcut link bar has done. What it's done is to put the predecessors in. That means that here the two in this box is indicates that this task number three requires task number two to be done. Okay? So um, that's been done automatically for me. In this case, I want to say that constructing the house also is dependent on four. So I'm going to come in here, and I'm going to I'm going to add four to that. And now, if I look back over at my Gantt chart, I can see that I've got two things going on here: the design process and the site preparation. Both of those things are cascading in to the actual construction of the home. So I'm hoping that makes sense. So I've shown you the shortcut link. I've shown you how to manually enter those shortcuts. Let me show you the indent feature now. So if I pull this back, um, it's give, filled in all the dates and the predecessors for me. Okay. Now build a house is still a category, so I want to indent these. And what that means is say that all those tasks, all these tasks, fall under the build a house title. To do this, I'm going to use the indent button. 
Now I can right click indent and so forth, but I'm just going to do this. And what this has done then is I've got this category of building a house and all these things that go into it. And the result has been the Gantt chart that you can see. Okay, so you can imagine if I was building a subdivision that would require sewer and maybe other things, um, working with the city, um, marketing the homes, all of that would be in other, but the actual building of an individual house would be here. So if I, that, so I've, I've shown you the indent feature, the link. Uh, the last thing I want to show you is how to put in resources. And so I'm going to slide this over again. And what a resource is, is the person doing the work. So let's say designing a house, let's say uh, Dan is going to do that. Developing materials list will be Julie. Uh, let's say uh, Gertrude. Gertrude is going to order the materials. Um, and then we'll need uh, Sylvester to uh, run the D8 and move that dirt at the site. And then we know that uh, Cynthia is particularly proficient with a hammer, she'll be constructing the home. So if we go back to the Gantt chart, you can see that those individuals' names have been placed next to those tasks. And that, uh, that's interesting, Cynthia's not there. Maybe I did, oh, oh, whoops, what did I do wrong there? I don't know what I did wrong there. Let me go back, Cynthia. Hit return, and now Cynthia's name appears as it should. So I've got my Gantt chart, parallel paths, I've got resources identified. So I'm hoping that you recognize now that this is the extent of what I'd like you to do with that in-class exercise. Don't worry about exactly replicating the task and so forth, but I'm looking for a Gantt chart of about the complexity that I handed you. Now, in this video, at the end of the video, if you've listened this far, we're seven minutes in, I'd also invite you to go ahead and just choose a different project. Perhaps you'd like to do your first lab project and have that be the target of your first Gantt chart, and I would uh, welcome that too. So feel free to be flexible on what the tasks are and so forth, but do include the dependencies, the uh, subcategories within a broader task, and learning how to type in the, the resources who will be doing the work. This is Phil Harding Production Company. Thank you for listening. And now I'll scroll the credits.